the Caribbean Regional Pilot Program for Climate Resilience is strengthening regional agriculture by increasing food security. The UIMONA-led and IDB-funded program partnered with the Caribbean Agricultural Research and Development Institute and the Jamaican Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries to upgrade the seed storage facility at the Bordeaux Agriculture Research Station. The facility upgrade will result in improved production and storage of seed material for major food crops. The Corporate Unit has a mandate to produce seeds to supply the agricultural sector locally. Right now we produce pumpkin, corn, sorrel seeds, cowpea, castor bean seeds. In our current state, however, we realized that we had a shortfall as it relates to our storage capacity, as well as our ability to properly process the seeds. We received assistance on this project, the PPCR, which we're very grateful, where our seed storage facility has been expanded to world-class standards. We now have a seed processing lab to our quality testing. We have expanded storage space and we now have a walk-in cold room that will facilitate storage for specialized seeds. We have a walk-in germination room. We have also a facility where we can deal with vegetated seed and I'm referring now to tissue culture material. Now, all of this is being done under the PPCR so that we can not only serve Jamaica but the region at large. And this is important to demonstrate our climate resilience, our ability to bounce back after any drastic climatic events, we should be able to produce seed material in a very short time, not only for ourselves, but for our neighboring neighbor countries in the Caribbean. We just had a walk through on a new seed facility, which houses both true and vegetative seed. That facility was upgraded under the pilot program for climate resilience, an IDB from the project where Cardi is in charge of implementing subcomponent 4, which is the agricultural component of the project. We hope the facility, which is designed to serve both Jamaica and the wider Caribbean region, will also be able to help in the storage of climate resilience seed. With the Seed storage facility coming up, it is going to impact Bodo's a lot because currently my section has two functions. Well, several functions, but the two functions that should relate to here is the seed testing as well as the propagation and storage and jump as in bank of vegetative material of crops. That is done through the use of tissue culture technologies. So for crop research units, and you will hear or have heard from Mrs. Carla Douglas, we do a lot of their seed testing after it is harvested in the field. We do their germination testing, their testing in case there are any pathogens surrounding it, any fungi, bacteria. And now with this seed storage facility, one of the labs, which is their diagnostic testing section, they would be able to do that on their own, as well as with the tissue culture. Now with the tissue culture, what my unit does is cleans up material so that way farmers have this clean material. What the seed storage facility will do now in their tissue culture section is actually multiply it. Apart from the germ plasm that they will store to keep for in case, of, in case there are problems that happen or there are natural disasters, they will be able now to be able to produce in mass quantities this clean material. Now when I say produce this clean material, it is more taking a plant and making a clone of it. So if you come with a ginger plant that has high quality, large, tastes great, everything like that, and you put that into culture, you can make so many replicas that will give you the exact same ginger or just about the same ginger if it's grown in the same area under the same conditions. And that in turn now will actually increase or better able to do our food security, our food safety, and just provide for our country.